Dr. Jaffe, um, can you explain how the body detoxifies spike proteins found in vaccines? And what products would you, what pork products would you recommend to support the body in detoxifying these spike proteins? Um, does the body detoxify these sp spike proteins on its own? So I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. Well, the spike proteins are the coat proteins of the COVID virus, but they are proteins. They are handled like any other protein. They are recycled through recycling centers in the cell called the lysosome. And there's no difference in the handling of any other protein from a spike protein. The spike protein means the coat protein of the virus. Interestingly, the spike protein is not infectious. And many people make a lot of spike protein, but no infectious particles. In fact, there's an idea that the spike protein is a way of alerting the body that it needs to recycle something, but it is not in and of itself infectious. This is directly analogous to hepatitis, which is much better studied, but analogous. Hepatitis is a DNA virus, it's not an RNA virus, but we know that the coat protein for hepatitis is not infectious. In fact, now we measure the core to measure the infectivity. So you can expect new tests, T cell tests, tests of T cell immunity, to recognize not just the coat protein, but the core, the infectious part of the protein. So there's nothing unique about a spike protein from any other protein. What recycles protein is the liver, and to some extent, the kidneys, the spleen, the whole body gets involved, but let's focus for a moment on the liver. We have the most comprehensive liver protective formula. So if I wanted to increase the recycling of the coat protein, I would take Perk Liver Guard. I'd also make sure that I had enough ascorbate and enough magnesium and choline citrate to handle the oxidative load, to handle the buffering needs of the body. So I wouldn't forget about the others, but I would remember the liver.